Welcome to the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by Outback Steakhouse. I'm Shauna Hyatt. We're at Caesars Palace, the home of champions, where the Sweet 16 is about to get underway. We have four tables in action simultaneously. Let's meet the players at the outer tables. Shannon Elizabeth, Barry Greenstein, defending champ Ted Forrest and Nam Lee, TJ Cloutier and Paul Wasica. And at our featured table, Umberto Brenes goes heads up with Huck Seed. Let's get the cards in the air. Every poker player has a relatively big ego by nature. And this is a way to sort of be like, yeah, who's the man? That'd be me. To make this top 64 it is an honor in itself. It's become such a landmark for all the poker players. It's the one tournament you just don't want to miss. A heads up, it's either me or them. One on one all the way through. It's really personal if you lose, so you just don't want to lose to anybody. Very, very tough for the 64 players. Most of them are considered the best in the world. play heads up, you have to be aggressive, you have to get in there, and you have to be able to read your opponent really quickly. This event gives you a chance, one-on-one, -on -one, to test yourself against the best in the world. Matt Vaskersian alongside Ali Najat at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas for the National Heads Up Poker Championship. 16 elite players remaining in this single elimination bracket style no limit Texas Hold'em tournament. Here are the matchups in the clubs and spades brackets. We get you right to the poker action with actress Shannon Elizabeth going up against Barry Greenstein. Players in the round of 16 all start with 80,000 in chips. Barry with King Queen offsuit raises to 2,400. Shannon's been the celebrity Cinderella so far. Looks like Barry's approach to her is to be aggressive. He doesn't want to keep the pot small. Going to put pressure on her with position. Flop six, seven, ten. Shannon pairs her seven. Okay. Not a great flop for Barry, but look for him to put a bet out there to retain control of Shannon the pot. Shannon checks, and Barry does bet 3,500. Shannon calls. No reason for Shannon to raise. Good check call. Turn pairs tens on the board. Now, Barry could shut down at this point. He doesn't have to bet this king high. But he's going to continue with his aggressive play. He bets 7,000. And that 10's a good card for Shannon. It makes it less likely that Barry holds a 10, and she's going to just call, continues the conservative play. The river brings a full house for Shannon. So she bets 15,000 here. I like this lead by Shannon. In case Barry has an ace high, it looks really suspicious. But instead, it's just the king high, which hits the muck. Shannon wins a nice pot. We now check in with veteran TJ Cloutier, who's reached the Sweet 16 in all three years of this event against 2006 World Series of Poker main event runner-up and heads-up newcomer Paul Wasica. Couple of eights for Paul. He's going to triple the blinds, which are at four and 800. Oh, jacks for TJ. And he will raise. TJ raises it to 9,400. Another 7,000 for Wasika to call. He is on the button. Cloutier has him crushed with two jacks, however. And Wasika lays down the hand. Wow, that is a great lay down from this young man. He showed his pocket eights, and now he's going to get credit from TJ for raising with big hands and being able to make big lay downs. One table over, the defending heads-up champ, Ted Forrest, face-to-face -face with Nam Lee. Nam's a first-timer to the event. Made his way this far so far. He's doing something right. He's on a bit of a hot streak. 10-9 for Nam Lee. He calls kings for Forrest. Well, this should cool him off. And the reigning champ raises to 3,200 here. Another 16 to Nam Lee, he calls. Nam doesn't want to be bullied by Ted Forrest. He's got the button. Trouble for Nam here as he pairs his 10 on the flop. 
Forrest bets 3,000 now. And Nam calls him. Though raising would have been okay with top pair and a straight draw, Nam's just calling. He doesn't want to let Ted move him off his hand. Three of hearts on the turn, and Ted bets 5,000. Well, Nam's going to continue to play cautious. He's just calling. Ted could be still on a bluff, firing a second shell. Ace of diamonds on the river. And Ted's showing a little bit of hesitation, perhaps overly cautious. He's now given control of this pot to Nam, and he's saying, I don't have an ace. Nam, on the other hand, can now bet and represent an ace. Nam bets 10,000. Nam could have picked up an ace-high heart draw on the turn. Otherwise, it's unlikely that he would have had an ace in his hand. Valiant bet and effort, however. It looks like Ted is going to call. Good call. He'll take it down. Let's check in now with Shauna Hyatt, who's with the competitors at our featured table. Umberto, you beat Eric and you beat Phil. What's been the magic for you? Yeah, uh, the chatter is hungry. And uh, now uh, it's good for me. I have a good player and a big guy. He's uh, uh, perfect for the, the shark. Um, Did you bring the shark with you this time? Of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see the face. You see the face. Yeah. It's a good problem for him. Huck, you're a mellow guy. Does this stuff bother you? I hope I don't have shark nightmares after this. Uh, <laughs> that's one crazy looking, mean and crazy looking shark, so. What do you got to do to get past Umberto? Uh, I got to try to swim through the teeth of the shark, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Stand up! Welcome back to Caesars Palace in the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Inside the poker room, round of 16 action at our featured table, Umberto Brennis versus 1996 World Series of Poker champ, Huck Seed. These two are very different players, but they know one another. From Costa Rica, where Umberto lives mm -hmm. and Huck has spent some time. Who is his name? Paul Wasica. He played for Internet the player. Game. Internet player, but... Flop is nine, deuce eight, two spades, and a flush draw for Huck. Umberto's king high, the best hand for now. Check, check, and there's another king for Umberto. Just got a lot better. And Umberto's gonna try to trap Huck. Oops! Big river card, two pair for Umberto now, but the flush for Huck. And now it's Huck's turn to try to trap. And Umberto takes the bait, understandably, with kings and sixes. Huck, to Huck now raises to 6,000. This is just the right amount to get two pair to call him. Huck Umberto's see. getting two to one on this call. You see this? Oh my God. And he really hates his hand. There's a straight on board, 10-7, and the spades. Okay, I give you. Umberto's gonna call. call. Huck Seed takes down the pot. It's good. And the former world champion shows that he still has what it takes. Well, we started with 64 of the top poker players in the world, and we're down to 16 in the spades and clubs bracket of the Sweet 16. Four of the eight players to have made it here have made it at least this far in all three years of the National Heads Up Poker Tournament. Pretty unbelievable for those of you who think experience doesn't count toward anything. But Ali, let's talk about the feature table. Although we've seen Huck Seed on TV a little more than we have Umberto Brennis, both are experienced players. Yeah, Umberto beat Phil Locke at his own game to get to the round of 16, but he's more than just the antics, Umberto has a wealth of experience, and I look for him to bring that to the table in this match against Huck. Huck, on the other hand, Matt, has made it to the round of 16 or better each of the two times he's already played. I look for him to try to freeze Umberto by playing small ball. Well, Huck has an early lead in this match. Bullets, pocket aces for Umberto. He raises to 2,400. Uh, I think that's a mistake against a player like Huck, who lays a lot of hands down pre-flop. Umberto should just limp. Uh, Umberto wins a small pot there. Either win a small one or lose a big one with bullets. 
So they say. For Huck Seed, a nice disciplined laydown. Huck clearly knows how to play. That's why he's been among the most successful heads-up players.